Last time on El Dante's Bizarre Star, our heroes find themselves in grave danger as Nero faces down Bowser from the Smash Brothers for control of his Koopa Hotels. V challenges Starbucks and beats white women with his menagerie of failed computers and lasagna. And Dante, after destroying a Phillips CDI, is woken up from his two-week nap. Now reunited with his Reddit sword, El Diablo vows to stop Bowser and his sidekick, the Gary's Man, from growing a really big tree. And for all of my illiterate viewers, this is the second part of a two-part series on the video game Devil May Souls 5. If you haven't watched the first part, you will be confused enough to qualify as a congressman. Thusly, I have nailed the link to the first part on the church doors below. Do not tell the Pope. Continuing our story, Dante has been awoken and is immediately harassed. Right. Okay, you, first of all, fuck off. Second of all, you astolfo looking asshole, Pizza Al Dante does not wait for a little paisano such as yourself. What are you fucking saying? In the world of words, you either get with the flow or you take a second slow. Think about that one for a sec, five. What the fuck? <clears throat> Jesus Christ, you got some untreated scoliosis or some shit. Work on it. Fucking skin disorder looking ass. Finally, we can resume our adventure as the crying devil, El Exterminador de Demonios. La Chupacabra is the most complicated character in the entire game, and explaining him would be like delving into the hollow live lore. Why is the dog gay? But without giving a presentation on the fundamentals of engineering. Here are the basics. Dante has four distinct abilities that he can switch between. Trickster allows La Cucaracha to slide, slide to, to the, the left. Map. Swordmaster allows him to beat women faster and better. Gunslinger allows him to more quickly engage fleeing civilians. And Royal Guard instantly wins the game. Also, you can switch between them like this. <laughs> But the most important aspect of playing as Papa John has gotta be his music. Listening to these tunes, Dante walks 30 feet and causes 9-11. Twice. Moving through the ruins, Dante goes to the tree and prepares to save Nero when he's done with his casual stroll. Hey bitch, catch. I'm going to depict you as a soy wojack, Dante. And your what next the fuck is he saying? Showing with my soy wojack, and though you may block have me, you considered have taking a shout? Bitch, give me your sword. Oh, don't worry, I can do that. <laughs> cope, cope, seed, cope, cope, seed, coping, coping, seed. It's time for one of the most fun boss battles in the entire game. I say that a lot. This fight is a pure, in-your-face test of skill with no bullshit movement mechanics. All fuck. And to win, an expert bladesman is able to dodge left and right, sidestepping his attacks and swiftly punishing for a satisfying battle. But the true warriors are among us are able to take him on face to face. So Dante deletes Reddit forever while a motorcycle psychically assembles itself in the background. And as it turns out, inside every good Redditor is a gooder woman, that's not the phrase. Hey look V, it's another woman just like you. Go babysitter while your spine is fucked him out. Wait, you dumb fuck. This is just like Crazy Frog, you gotta try it. Naturally V, just like me on my first date, begins recanting the story of his birth. Three weeks ago, Dante's brother Thanos Prime was attempting to survive the end of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And to do so, he just happened to find a sword which is in no way related to Nero's missing arm. The synthesis of man is his Chad self and his virgin self. No man is complete without both, but in an effort to save himself, he severed the two halves into their base states. And what emerged out the other side was Urizen and V, which stands for virgin. Oh, I wonder what Dante is doing. I hope he gets to Nero soon instead of fucking with a bike. Now it's time to fuck with a bike. Which, by the way, makes Dante immune to being stunned. This new weapon works by being high risk, high reward, as Dante and everyone else in the room is forced to get fucked whenever the weapon is used. So Dante gets fucking all the way to the fountain, through the crypt, and to his house. He endangered the life of a child so that he can gauge the property value. Maybe rent it to a black family after he kills himself. <laughs> Because in the Devil May Cry universe, the only way to gain power is attempted suicide. And so, through the power of emo, Dante becomes Hype Beast Dante, possessor of the drip. Then he'd fly. Why didn't he do that before? Yurison, I have flown in from off screen to finally defeat you. By the way, who's that whiny bitch in the background? My name is fucking Kyle. Nice try, but names can't have sex. Jesus Christ, look at this fucking battle. It's got more particles than the beach. I've been keeping track, and this is the fourth time that we've had to fight Yurin McGee in his stupid tree. This battle is tough, as it's 
it's very difficult to tell what animations this tentacular fuck is going to puncture you with next. As well, Dante must overcome him constantly resummoning his crack crystal to fight you with. But armed with his new abilities, Devil Man Come Baby can overcome the challenge set before him and finally stop the gigantic stupid bitch liquid who's about to fuck up. Okay. You are fucking stupid, Dante. The tree is already growing into a bigger tree. Soon I shall have national park designation and the government will no longer tax me. I am literally getting to the bottom of this. Don't follow me. So Five just teleports to the top of the tree somehow and is like, Dante, we don't have time to spare. Urizen will soon. Shut be. up, V. You're interrupting my Michael Jackson brain. Your what? I need this, V. Hey guys, it's me, Nero. What the fuck? Yeah. And now, with all three of our heroes conveniently in the same location, they split up again. Choosing Dante because I'm not stupid, we descend to the roots of the tree to stop Urizen from evading taxes. And to do so, we are armed with the Michael Jackson hat, which has the power to put a hat on anything. Anything and has the power to fire currency at the enemy, which is a terrible idea. So I don't use it, and Dante takes his time walking down the stairs. Speaking of taking your time, it's now V's time to waste my time with his terminal scoliosis reaching critical levels. V is forced to consume a peyote and perform a gauntlet of metaphorical challenges in an effort to save himself. Entering the light, oh god, my eyes, please stop it. V is now forced to choose which one of his pets to release first. Please don't choose the parrot first, or you might have to fight a boss using only the parrot. The rest is pretty simple. You get the lasagna, you you use the lasagna. You get the Bowser and you kill Mario. It's the way it is. This allows V to think away the pain of his curved spine. This lasts for all but three seconds when V finds the next boss. What the fuck is that noise? It sounds like someone's playing mumble rap. My entire character is just written to be angry, so I'll kill you the Haha, uh -huh, don't kill V. So sexy, no. Okay, seriously though, I'm not gay. Why am I surrounded by fucking goblins? Zero initiates battle against the KFC Lorian ripoff, whose main gimmick is access to the <laughs> which lets her teleport. This boss involves a lot of movement and dodging, but leaves herself open to score many hits. Fortunately, Nero can score with her because he swings either way, with his sword, of course. Seriously, it's like she wants to die. <laughs> Oh no, V, your spine is too injured. Guess I gotta carry you myself. Fucking fine. <laughs> Meanwhile, down the Dante, Donathan Taylor is tasked with further entry into the anus. There, he will have to fight a gauntlet of former enemies as he races to the bottom. These include the Oompa Loompas, BDSM, and Fia Fa Fa Fast Your Illa with his friend, Devil May Cry. But as Demi Lovato descends further into the devil, he notices that the devil may cold. With this knowledge, he investigates to its deepest reaches. <laughs> Holy shit, it's an average-sized pit bull. Leave at once, only kings of the... Sorry, Mr. Worldwide, but I don't speak Spanish. It's time to fight a literal nuclear blast. What the fuck? This is one of the best bosses in the entire game. I mean it this time. In addition to hitbox pornography, this boss can transform himself and the arena to three unique styles. Lightning mode allows him to unlock the innate pit bull ability to throw cinder blocks. Fire mode activates his baby chewing instincts. And ice mode is what happens when he's forced to travel to an Alaskan Walmart. But just before the fight grows desperate, Che Guevara activates his Super Saiyan mode and finally slays the preschool eater. Time to jump into your mom's cooch. Haha, look how funny I am. I'm so funny. You are too late, Donatello. I have finally constructed the tax evasion apple. And once consumed, the paperwork will be sent within 14 business days by my mediocre secretary. What do you even need this money for, huh, Virgil? It doesn't make any sense. You would not understand. Thousands of dollars are stolen from me to build roads and orphanages. How else can decent men gatekeep Build-A-Bear Workshop? Though we are brothers, Dante. You call me by the wrong name. My true name now no! is Jeff Bezos. It's fucking delicious, Dante. I can already feel the burden of taxes falling off of my body. It 
It's time, Dante, to finally end this. The battle for America's revenue has just begun, and Jeff isn't taking any fucking prisoners. Leading with his MMA bullshit, Jeff kicks Dante down and moves in aggressively, but within minutes begins to draw on the power of mandatory overtime, sacrificing the blood of his workers to cast some mystical bullshit. And after hours of Dante's sick breakdancing, Jeff activates his beast mode and begins doing sick backflips, firing fucking lasers, and just walking really menacingly. However, with the help of his sick moves, Dante can put a gigantic hat on him, which instantly kills him, trust me. What are you touching, Nero? Nothing. Oh good, you found a doctor. Dante, what the fuck is that? That's my brother. You're fucking what? Yeah, he was trying to get away from taxes, I don't know, I stopped him. What's V doing? <sighs> Get back, V. I'm gonna Al Capone this bitch. Fuck off, Fed. I'm about to die. Have you ever heard of the Make-A-Wish Foundation? <laughs> now, I know, Jeff. I know that it's hard letting poor people into Build-A-Bear workshop, especially if they're Italian. Is V racist? But let me introduce you to a concept that I'm a big fan of. I'm sure you'll love every second of it. It's very popular on the internet, and it's called VOR. Wait a fucking second. <laughs> Nero's underage, you can't do that! Add me on Discord. Does he always play that song? Yes. Oh, sorry, gentlemen. I've left my theme song running. There we go. Yo, that was sick. Oh, ho, hey there, brother Dante. I would totally fight you right now, but I would decimate you so hard that I would win and you would die. So, uh, later. I, uh, gotta go to the top of the tree. Goodbye. Oh, and Nero. Tell your mom that I'm not fucking paying. Did he just mention my mom? No. What did he mean by that, Dante? What was he supposed to pay to my mother? Nothing. Why won't you answer me, Dante? Look, I have to save Build-A-Bear. And why can't I help you, huh? Why can't I help? He's your father! <laughs> have fun, Nero fucking dick. So after 2 minutes and 14 seconds of cutscenes in this video, yes I timed it, Dante does his off-screen teleport to the top of the tree, racing to the end to fight his brother in a final battle. Yet standing in his way for some reason is the Bowser Squad, and they decide to fight for some reason that I don't understand. The battle begins as Dante juggles every angry lore enthusiast typing up a comment right now, and their rage is reflected as this is one of the hardest bosses in the entire game. Dante is forced to dodge the lightning of Windows Vista, the aggression of lasagna, and sometimes remember that Bowser exists. Now I know that there's proof of God's existence existence because Satan is clearly real, and although Dante may cry and doesn't want to narrate this boss fight, he can stop writing the script and go for a walk into the eternal darkness. And when he returns, the boss is just dead, trust me. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? I'm a technical genius. Hey Virgil, do you really have to bring the plastic chair? Yes, I do need to keep the plastic chair, Dante. It comforts me. Well, you're gonna have to fucking sell it to pay for the child support, Virgil. Oh, is that the case? Yes, you cut off the arm of your own son. And I'd do it again. You're gonna pay, Virgil. Let me be clear, Dante. I will never pay. You're a deadbeat, and you're a fed. Tax evasion is a crime, Virgil. It's an obligation. Oh, exactly 30 seconds earlier. Hello, you've reached the federal government. You are currently located in Florida, where our laws don't apply. Please solve whatever problem you have with large rocks. Hey, listen, there's this IRS guy named Dante Devil. Can you give me his contact info? There is no IRS employee by that name. Thank you for calling. 
That motherfucker. Dante never worked for the IRS to begin with. They're both exactly the same. And they're gonna kill each other over who gets to steal Virgil's money. They were so blinded by their thousands that they never stopped to think what they were doing or who they hurt along the way. But that ends here. I have to stop them. I have to make Virgil pay! Oh, fuck. Oh. You two will never agree, and I know that, but I can't let you kill each other. Because you two are two sides of the same coin. Your blood. Stay out of it. Bitch, I'm talking. Think of all the money you could make if you look past your differences and rub people together. <laughs> I think you make a good point, Nero. And it starts with you paying for my child support, Virgil. Virgil? It's finally time for the battle to conclude the game about Virgil hiring Virgil's brother and Virgil's son to defeat Virgil so Virgil could become Virgil featuring Virgil. And to win this battle, Nero steals the ox cord from Virgil and plays this sick beat. Fortunately for Nero, he can employ the Machiavellian counter-stabbing method, and using his new twink form, he's finally able to fight back. Then I list things that he does to kill Virgil comedically and Virgil dies Lamau. Ugh. Do you accept payment and shares? Maybe. But we're running out of time. Our national park has begun expanding the state of Florida, and soon we'll consume Walt Disney World. Kinda like that. You're right. We have to stop Florida. Agreed, brother. Let's get going. As long as I keep my taxes. W wait a minute. What are you gonna do? We have no choice but to cut off Florida from the rest of the country with a comically large saw. It's the only way to protect humanity. But but if you do that, you'll be trapped in Florida forever. Why do you think Virgil's going? There's no income tax. But there has to be another Fuck way! Off. Next time I see you, Nero, you better not be such a pussy bitch. Later! I always wanted to go to Disney World. Oh, and Nero, here's the child support. It should cover all of the costs. Wait, costs? It'll sell for a lot. What the fuck? Well, looks like everything's back to normal. Though, I don't understand the book thing. I think your dad scammed you. Hello? Hello, this is the federal government speaking. We found some unusual activity with your accounts and will be claiming your child support as taxes. What? That's my child support. Hello, Obama. There's no way I'm paying for that. Oh, you won't be paying, you say. That's okay. We have our way. You know what? I've been thinking for a while. Virgil might have had a point. 